live in sunny Arizona, but when I wake up in the mornings to get online for work, it's obviously dark because it's winter. Um, but I have these grow lights right here, here, and down there. All connected to a smart plug that turns on at 5.30 a.m. So when I get up for work, all of these are lit up and it just kind of has a little bit of ambient light for this room. Um, and then the sun will come up and I'll up in these shades right here and over there that you can't see right now. The sun will come out tomorrow. Okay, so you get morning face because this is vlogmas and this is my life. But uh, I have talked about this on Instagram before in a little bit of detail, but my dog, Cuddy, um, short for cuddles because that's all that Pitbull wants to do is cuddle the heck out of you. He's got a very rare degenerative nerve disease. Um, I believe the name of it is called dying back myasthenia or something to that effect, um, but it's an awful disease. It's basically paralyzing him from starting at the tips of his paws uh, and moving up his legs until it hits his spine. Um, so it's, it's a bit, it's a bit like ALS for dogs. I don't know, that's just how I describe it to people so they can understand, but right now, currently his back legs uh, don't function very well at all so every morning when I wake up I put on his harness so I can carry him out um, before I was just carrying him with my arms and it it's a lot I mean he's still a heavy dog he's 45 50 pounds um, but I found this harness online and I can just kind of have a handle to lift up his back legs and his front legs are mostly fine. He's a little bit wobbly on him sometimes. Um, but now he has so much more freedom to just like walk on his own. Uh, and you can see he's still a happy dog. Like his, everything is functioning in his brain. And there was a moment where I thought like, I'm gonna have to make a tough decision here because, um, you know, I don't wanna prolong things if it's not right for him. And. Uh, I always told myself the line of that would be when he couldn't use the restroom on his own and we hit that months ago because I basically have to hold him up so he can go to the bathroom or else he kind of falls down or um, just, you know, he can't really stand up or squat down. Uh, but we hit that line and I just can't do it. Like, I feel like, I feel like he'll tell me when, when it's time and when that happens, that happens, but uh, until then, I will continue to carry him. I will continue to do whatever I have to do um, for him because he's a happy dog and he's given me nothing but love and that's the least I could do back for him. currently lunchtime. I work from home, so I get up super early, um, and then I decide to take a lunch, which basically is just me going around doing a little bit of plant chores over my lunch. My desk is in this front room, which is like right by all of my plant stuff, so I'm literally just sitting here staring at all of my plant stuff and writing down or making mental notes on the things I need to do, like definitely need to water this pothos because, oh, she's floppy. So floppy. Uh, I'm sorry. I also get to look at this beautiful lady sleeping right here in her window hammock cardboard seat thingy. Um, Patches absolutely loves this. And I have it linked in my Amazon store for anyone who would want to purchase it for their own for babies, but she is in this literally all day long. It is technically winter, so fertilizing plants should probably slow down and or stop. 
Uh, one thing I don't usually stop doing is I include Super Thrive every time I water. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if it's the right thing to do, but I do it. I usually <laughs> fill up one of these gallon jugs with Super Thrive. I have it marked here. The recommended dosage is a fourth of teaspoon per gallon of water. So I just fill up the water, put a fourth teaspoon in it, and then I use that to water plants. It's just kind of micronutrients and vitamins for your food, or for your plants. I have actually found this is wonderful to use for propagating. So I'll take the water that I mix up and fill propagation jars with it. And this stuff really does, in my opinion, make propagating or root growth happen a lot quicker. Don't spill, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. So it's currently evening and I'm lit by my amazing grow lights. Um, but today I'm trying to get more into the Christmas spirit so we're gonna go get the tree from the garage and put it up. I kind of waited till night because it's not in a sealed box, it's just in a cardboard box. It's Arizona, We've, there's scorpions and I'm a little bit afraid that there's scorpions inside the box so I got my black light here to try to spot them because I don't want to bring the tree inside and then start putting it up and have scorpions inside. <laughs> Let's go see if we can find some scorps. Ew, that one's dead. That's been dead for a while, but that's how much they glow with the black light. Isn't that crazy? Maybe put the lights on tonight. I don't know. This might be like an eight part decorate my tree series of Vlogmas because I'm feeling uber unmotivated right now. But I also want to get it done because I want to feel the Christmas spirit. E. All right, morning face again. Morning, Adam. It is. Oh, I boogers. Ew. Ew. It is Tuesday AM. Um, the YouTube video that I've been working on for a while as far as editing goes, because you know me, my extra editing, just released this morning, so I woke up to a slew of comments and or new subscribers, and it's very exciting. I honestly had the best time with Becca and Nicole. Like, they're just two genuinely great, wonderful, kind human beings. We filmed for almost an entire day, all three of us together. I felt really bad because um, mine definitely took the longest, but they were troopers, they were happy, we laughed so much. I don't think I've laughed that much in a very long time. It's just nice when you put your heart into something and you hope people like it as much as you like it and they enjoy it as much as you enjoyed filming it and creating it. Uh, so when it happens, it kind of is like this rush, this, I don't know, this high that you get. Um, so I'm happy that people are enjoying it. And if you haven't watched it, go check it out. We did a little Nailed It compilation thing and it was just super fun. But now I have to work. Happy Wednesday to you fine folk. I feel like I'm really failing at this whole vlogging thing. I'm failing at keeping my arm still while I'm holding this camera. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still gonna continue doing it, even if I don't feel like there's literally anything interesting going on in my life, which there kinda isn't. I'm gonna do some plant chores today, so I thought it would be fun for you guys to see a little bit of that. I mean, fun for who? I don't know, but maybe. Anyway, I got work to do, like work, work to do. Um, on my lunch break today, I think I'm gonna shower because you know, like work from home struggles. I feel like I rarely shower. I guess that's what my lunch break's gonna entail. So I'll, um, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna show you that, but I'll catch you at some point 
after said shower. <laughs> My face feels very red right now because I used a new face scrub from Lush. It's called Ocean Salt. It's good, it's an exfoliator. My face was physically assaulted by it. So since I feel like I don't have enough stuff to put on my Vlogmas episode two, I am currently showing you what I do after I get out of the shower as far as uh, skincare goes. You know, for the longest time, probably up until the last couple years, I just got out of the shower, towel dried my hair, and that was it. But it is important to stay hydrated, and especially now that I live in the desert, I'm taking it a little more seriously because I get so flaky in my beard and in my eyebrows and in my hair, like it's disgusting and I hate it. I'm just gonna show you guys what I do on just a normal day when I actually decide to shower. So the plant chores that I have, or just specifically one chore, is to repot my Peperomia prostrata, which was featured on my first ever YouTube video from Steve's Leaves. Now this thing has grown huge. Look at it. And I keep seeing it on the shelf like that, and I'm like, oh, this is so healthy. Well, it turns out it wasn't so healthy. I have been absolutely terrified to repot this plant um, forever. It's still in the pot and the soil that it came to me from Steve's leaves because it just felt fragile and I didn't want to ruin it because I love it so much. About two months ago, I pulled a vine off of this mother plant and I just put it in some sphagnum moss and stuck it in my magic cookie jar. So you can see this one is doing very well. Literally was just a couple strands that I had pulled off um, and just laid on top of the sphagnum moss here. And it has literally grown all of those offshoots. Now I'm nervous on how to pull this thing out of the sphagnum moss and plant it. So right now I'm just kind of leaving it alone. So that is the Peperomia prostrata repotted, kind of. That whole like trail of awesomeness kind of connects to like one point that had some good roots, so I put it back in the soil. But then I also put in, I wrapped around some of the bigger um, vines to hopefully get them to all root, so this will be a fuller plant, but. I don't know, man, I was so nervous repotting this. I'm probably gonna stick this in my humidity box, which is just a plastic box I got at Walmart. I'll probably stick it in there just until I see some of this top vines on this um, soil kind of rooting and establishing, and then I'll probably pull it out and put it back on the shelf where it was before and just maybe water it more often. Currently Wednesday evening, the sun has set on another day. I didn't do much, I worked. And then I ran to World Market, and then Target. And then I came home and made some pizza for dinner, and by made some pizza, I mean I took it out of a box and put it in the oven. And I finished decorating the Christmas tree, which is just kind of, it's a regular Christmas tree, it's nothing fancy or special. Just not feeling like gung-ho today, and it's probably just, you know, I don't know, normal, blues. Actually like 75 degrees here today which helps with the seasonal affective disorder because it's not like cold and the days aren't super super short but that being said it's still something I struggle with. I hope you all have had a great beginning of your week. It is 
hump day, meaning we're on the downhill slope to the weekend, which is always exciting. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.